Hello, we're here with Mr. Sullivan. I uh, would like to ask you a few questions. Where did you go to school? I uh, went to school at UMass in Amherst as an undergrad, and then I went to UMass Boston for my graduate degree, which has a little bit of psychology and a little bit of philosophy. Okay. Uh, how did you get into teaching? You know, when I was uh, in high school, I was pretty sure I wanted to be a teacher and a coach. I played sports, and I wanted to coach, and... I never really wanted to, I never seriously thought of doing anything else. For some reason that seemed right to me and then when I started to study to be a teacher in college and student teaching, I, it felt right. First time I student taught, I felt like, yeah, I think I kind of like this. Maybe I could be good at it, we'll see, but I like it. And since then I just never really considered anything else. So, it's to my understanding that you wrote the textbook that you teach. How long did it take you for that to get published? Uh, it was a lot of how many years ago it was. A few years ago, almost 20 years ago, a publishing company contacted me and they'd heard about me from somewhere and said, hey, would you like to uh, write a book to help kids uh, uh, take the AP Psych class and the AP Psych test? And I said, yeah, sure. So uh, I, I would say I actually took some time off from work and lived uh, on Cape Cod. I would say start to finish, it probably took me about nine months working pretty much every day because it's a book for students, but there's also a, a, a teacher's manual too. So it's really two books. And I tried to write them at the same time originally, the first two editions. And the third edition of the book, which we now use here at school, Mr. Hamilton, who teaches psych with me, he and I collaborated on that book, so now he also has a, a, a stake in the book as well. Okay. Uh, for all the people on the fringe of taking AP Psych, could you give a brief uh, description of the class? It's uh, Any AP class is, is a uh, mirroring of a college experience, supposedly, if it's done well. So this is a mirroring of the college uh, psychology experience. And psych is variously described, but I like the definition of it's a study of human behavior and mental processes. A lot of people think psych is just studying disorders. Okay, what makes that person crazy? And what do we do about crazy people? And uh, that's a very limited view of what psych is. Psych is uh, about our perception of the world, our memory of the world. We do a unit on personality. Where does our personality come from? Uh, does it change over time or is it pretty stable? We do units on, yes, abnormal psych and treatment, but also how you and I are affected by other people, social psychology. And we study a lot more and more about the brain, about how the brain works and how it, what's going on when you and I are talking like this, what's going on in our brain to allow us to do this thing that we're doing. It's a pretty sophisticated thing. I love teaching it, and the other teachers of AP Psych, Mr. Hamilton and Mrs. Griffey, also love teaching and love learning about it. And I really think most students, because it's so relevant to all of our lives, why, why do we do what we do? How do we do what we do? People find it interesting. I know I do. What do you enjoy to do in your free time? I, I, I love music, and I sort of mess around with the guitar, uh, and I try to write music. But I must say, this will sound, uh, some people might laugh at this, but I read a lot of psychology and philosophy for fun, for pleasure, and I really would wish that for you and for every one of my students that I have in class, that you found work that you liked enough that, like, I love the students, and I love what I'm teaching. So I read about it because I find it interesting. And then I'm reading something, I think, oh, that could be good in class. Maybe I'll use that in class. That might help the kids understand this or might make them interested in this. Uh, so I do a lot. Of, I read a lot. I've always been a big reader, and I read a lot of psychology and philosophy. I love music, and I love... Uh, I used to exercise a lot, but I'm getting old you know, for that. But, uh, and I love good conversation with good people. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today, so thank you for uh, accepting our interview.